We're going to start with the first one tonight. Sanne Rambachs and Harman Fraaien.
just like you Guarding innocence Except I do not yet dare To leave the underwear around my heart I am just like you I am the beauty of nature We can stare, we can stare and stare and stare and stare and stare and stare, and stare at our ways of being Can you tell me what you see? Just like you, I am a glistening of light while walking Except I do not yet dare to take a closer look when the unknown land is illuminated within me You know what's good You know what's right
自由生活。This currents in me.
Armin Fraaie and Sanne Rambachs kicking off the spring streams here live from the BIM House in Amsterdam. Uh, like I mentioned, there will be uh, 12 duos this weekend, six every night, and all of them assembled especially for this little online festival for you at home. In between the short sets of the musicians, um, I'll be having a little chat with them in the bar, like actually we all love to do. And here's Sanne straight from the stage, uh, Sanne Rambachs, uh, welcome. Thank uh, you. Um, you were asked uh, by the BIM House to pick someone to partner up with. And then you chose Harmon. Yes. How old were, were you when you first saw him play? Because you're oh, from the same neighbor yes. neighborhood. Yeah. Yes, yes. Well, um, I'm not sure when I first, how old I was when I first saw him play, but uh, I know my parents at home, they, they listened to his, one of his first CDs. Yeah. So I actually grew up a little bit with his music. All right. And, and also while I was studying, listening a lot to his music too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Because Harman, he lives now in Amsterdam, but he is originally from Tilburg. Yes. And you are yeah. from the same area. Yeah. So it w I Im imagine that uh, paradox. Mm. Um, yeah. Estates compared to the BIM house, a bit smaller in yeah. Tilburg, but important place for Dutch music. Yeah. Uh, you have seen him play there a lot. Yes, you? yes, in Paradox a lot. And for me, Paradox feels a little bit also like a second home for me as a musician. And I think, uh -huh. I'm not sure about it for Harmon, how it was back then, but I think he was yeah. also really, uh, yeah, uh, he was a lot over there too, I think. And yeah. Uh, I, I mean, like it's for me, it feels so special. There are so many really, really beautiful and great musicians from from Tilburg mm -hmm. to stand on their shoulders. Like also, uh, yeah, like Harmon. But also, there are so there are so many with the, with yeah, their yeah. own unique sound. And I think Harmon is one of them. And mm -hmm. I'm so proud that I can be a new generation. Like, would you have them. would you yeah. have sounded different if you would have been born in Rotterdam, Amsterdam? Yeah, I think. Um, Yes, I think so. I'm. I'm not sure about um, about being born maybe there, but I think uh. I'm super happy. I studied in Tilburg. Like okay. I, I always was really much minded. Like okay, I, I want to go to Rotterdam or Amsterdam, but that didn't happen. Mm -hmm. And then I ended up in Tilburg, and it was actually so good for me because I n really needed this safe space and like uh, my hometown where I grew up was really close there and. Yeah. Um, it was really good for me, so I could develop in my own way because mm -hmm. I was very shy and insecure. Mm. Really? And uh -huh. uh, the school is quite small. And uh, well, I had paradox to, um, I, I'm there still uh, a volunteer. Yeah. So I could visit so many concerts over there. So it, that's also why it feels uh, like a home. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but they, I think I would sound different because of the pressure and the. So you, Sounds you being a, a, sh a shy singer from the south of Holland, how do you yes. <laughs> how do you discover that this voice, this inst beautiful instrument you have, how do you discover it when you're shy? Yeah, well, um, I think um, what is really important to me and what I always did when I was younger, my parents listened a lot to music and jazz mm -hmm. music and especially like this kind of lyrical, m melodic, harmonious m music. And yeah. I um, and I was always singing when we were on holidays to Norway. Norway is really important to me. And then I was listening to Pemethini a lot and Jan Garbarek. And I was uh, singing their solos too okay. when I was on the backside of the car. And okay. I did some things like some games with my dad, like who can sing the first uh, 
the solo, the whole solo. And I think I always use my voice in this instrumental way. Yeah. And I wanted to be equal with the other musicians and singing yeah. only jazz standards and then step aside. And then I saw, oh, now is the magic happening and I'm not part of that. That yeah. really, I, I, I really didn't like that. So I was searching like, how can I be together with all of you and yeah. be the same and equal? Okay, yeah, cool. That was the search. How did you, uh, did you pick a repertoire for tonight or was it all improvised? How was the yeah. set, uh, we set up? Did, um, we did uh, one song of Harmon. We started with the song of him yeah. and then we ended with the song of mine. Mm -hmm. and, but we, um, and we also uh, rehearsed that and, and checked uh, both of our ideas and sounds. Um, but we also wanted to let it flow. open and yeah. flow and... Yeah. That and I really like it as a musician to have this freedom because I, I, I don't feel insecure when I when I'm in this position that I can be wrong, you know, that I can mm -hmm. oh this has to be how it's written and I'm like yeah. oh, oh I, I am totally wrong with that. Yeah. As a singer, you always or not always, but often you deal with lyrics. Yes. Uh, so you as well. Um, do you improvise lyrics as well, or do you have a s sets of text in your Head that you use now and then. Or how, yeah. How does it come about? I have uh, I have uh, uh, written poems, uh, poems from great uh, poets or yeah. my own poems, and I also really like to improvise. That's improvised and to improvise in my own invented language, yeah. which is like just a little bit burr uh, sounds. But I'm doing a new project with one of my other. Uh, trios yeah. and um, now I'm singing in old Dutch language, like the language we spoke uh, around 800 after after Christ. Okay. And it's really beautiful because it's it sounds so uh, like from Iceland or elfish, you know, <laughs> like from Lord of the Rings. Okay. A little bit in this way, and I'm also trying to develop that more often to improvise with that too. Is that with your trio, Mudita? No, it's with Under the Surface. Under the Surface. Yeah. Okay, so check out those two bands, Mudita and Under the Surface. Yeah. Sana, thank you so much. Thank you. For Thanks. being here and singing yeah. for us. Thank you.